The cage top should either be opened or removed carefully to avoid excessive disturbance to the animals. The rats should be allowed sufficient time to become aware of your presence. The first rat to be injected should then be restrained smoothly, without hesitation, by grasping it around its shoulders and transferring it to a restraining device. This can be the rigid type shown here, or a plastic or cloth flexible restraining bag or tube. Intravenous injection is made into the lateral tail veins, and is made easier if the vessels are dilated. This can be achieved either by warming the rat in an incubator for 30 minutes before the procedure, or dipping the tail in warm water for a minute or so. Cleaning the tail, particularly in older animals, makes identification of the vessels easier. Intravenous injection can be made either with an appropriate sized needle, a butterfly style infusion set, or for greatest assurance that all the material is delivered into the vein using an over-the-needle catheter. The rat's tail is restrained and the needle is introduced with its bevel uppermost into the vein at a distance approximately halfway to two-thirds from the base of the tail. The vein lies immediately below the skin and entry of the needle into the vein is easier if the tail is bent slightly over the operator's finger and the needle introduced almost parallel to the tail. If an over-the-needle catheter is used, as shown here, this should be introduced at a steeper angle to help the catheter penetrate the tough skin of the tail. Then the angle is reduced and the catheter advanced further into the vein. When using a catheter, successful venipuncture is usually confirmed by the presence of blood in the catheter lumen and this is seen as the introducer needle is withdrawn. After confirming correct placement, the introducer needle is withdrawn and the catheter advanced until it is almost completely within the vein. When using either a catheter or a needle, there should be almost no resistance when the syringe plunger is depressed and the vein should be flushed clear of blood as the injection is made. The injection should be made slowly and steadily taking care to avoid any changes in the position of the needle and the tail. After the injection is carried out, the needle is withdrawn and gentle pressure applied with a swab to seal the vessel and allow clotting to occur. This takes about a minute. Once bleeding has stopped, the rat is placed back into its cage and released. When releasing the rat, maintain a secure grip until its feet have made contact with the cage floor then gently release it. Prior to release, it may be identified, for example with a tail mark, to confirm that the injection has been administered.